Number one on the homework. Convert 3.68 kilograms to grams. When I point to you, please tell me what step we need. First step, please. Need my what? Equivalent statement. Okay. What is my equivalent statement between kilograms and grams? On your sheet or on the board. One kilogram. One kilogram. You can't. That's, that, that's important. That's a thousand, man. That's important that you can do that and see that. Okay? Alright, so let's do the second step. So you follow these steps like robots in your home. Like robots. Right now. Until you. Grasp the analysis of it, okay? Then once you do that, then. Why does a thousand grams go on top? This is the mental analysis using the relationship of units to get a ratio that equals to one, okay? We want to write a ratio that equals to one. That's our purpose here. All right, what goes in the bottom? One kilogram. One kilogram. Okay, right here, beside the camera. Conversion factor. No, 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 no. The part you want to change first, what you start with. What we're going to do is that number. Multiply it by the conversion factor, then divide by the bottom. Multiply by the top, then divide by the bottom. Notice that what goes here from the video goes here. What you're after here must go there. See that? Okay, so it'd be 3.68 times 1,000 divided by 1, which would be Three, it's almost like the one we just did. Three, six, eight, zero grams or in scientific notation. 3.68 3. 6. 3. 6, times 10 to the third. Step, write the equivalent statement. Step two, so the conversion factor, what I want goes in the top, what I want to cancel goes in the bottom. Only include these two numbers in the equivalent statement. That number is a measure number, it has no basis in here, this is just for the exact numbers that expresses the relationship between the two units. Multiply by the top and divide by the bottom. 